Hey guys, today I want to give you a first person view of the new iFlight Protec 60 Pro uh, Cinelifter for Zcam, Komodo or any DSLR camera on top Where I put a weight here, it's about 870 grams I think It's the 5500 6S iFlight Full Set um, that battery represents my DSLR I'm about to put there and I was testing the quad for the last couple of days to make sure everything works and I also flashed the new Betaflight 4.3 that's why I'm about to release a release candidate of my 4.3 to now for the product 60 you can check it out in the description I will put it there as well as the product link and um, yeah, it's supposed to have less filter delay than the official tune because 4.3 has some optimized filtering and uh, yeah what I wanted to show you today actually was some parts of the drone for example the quick release battery mount here is a really good idea where you can buy more of those carbon plates and add as many batteries as you want on uh, on the quick release plates and if you have a job where you have to be quickly like quick in in terms of changing batteries and stay in the air because you have to shoot something that's not there forever so you have to be fast take it off pull it apart pull it back in and that's it and it stays there there's some I don't know if I can show you it like this if you see that on top there's a TPU space holder for the battery which just locks into so that makes sure that your battery position is always the same uh, for example you put your camera on top and you want to make sure your battery position is uh, always the same in terms of CG in terms of the um, center of gravity and weight distribution feeling of your quad when you fly that helps so to make sure that it's always at the same position and if you see those two things here on the side that's the quick release so if i go there and just push them together i can pull out the battery i don't have to push them to insert the battery i just hold my quad and slide it in that's it and the other very convenient thing here in the back is i got my xt90 battery connector right on the back where I just plug it in and it stays there that's really convenient like I, I didn't expect it to be that convenient but it takes less time it's secure and I really like it sorry those ladies were just collecting trash around me so I had to cut the video for a while but um, back to the product I have my camera universal mount installed here which is from 0 to 25 degrees it's uh, a different mount than for the Seacam and the Komodo so if you have seen a different variant that's the reason there's a pre-installed GPS on every quad so there's one thing I want to tell you the first uh, BNFs that have been shipped had it set up with the failsafe mode gps rescue on but the gps values were defined that you wouldn't be able to lift off if you don't have eight satellites found that means a gps fix and uh, i turned that down to five especially if you're flying and you're below eight satellites gps rescue won't turn on even if you lift it off having eight but lost it then while flying so please check the GPS parameters if you have uh, yours already ordered or received and as always there's a card in every box GPS rescue is some personal thing make sure you set it up properly and you know what you're doing what I want to show you next is a uh, flight around here in that area I will I think I will use the DJI upload not from the goggle but from the air unit in the back because it's higher quality but as I said, plug in the XT90 in the back and that's basically it, you're good to go Zero. Attempt. Zero. Attempt. 
I'll give you a quick sound check if you want. It's louder than a five inch, but it's not that loud. Like, I don't know, you can hear my voice now. I won't stop talking. So you have something to compare to. I'm flying now in front of me and you can probably not hear my voice anymore, I guess. But I will just don't stop to talk. So you have some reference. People watching, I'm flying away, my voice is loud, maybe you can hear me now. I was flying it before and I got about four minutes. My I think the longest flight time was four and a half. Just cruising. I don't know if you can see it, but if I go straight out, there's no eye wobbles. That's what I tried to fix with my 4.3 tune. And here you need to punch pretty hard if you come from I said again. If I go up here and I go down, my throttle increases by a lot. It's heavy. It's heavy to fly. Um, I gotta admit that. It's more noisy than the X8. The X8 is more quiet. It's just not if you do freestyle or you really hit the throttle then it's noisy as well but I think the Protex 60 is not meant to be a freestyle machine it's more like a cruiser especially people get scared of the X8 big size props, big noise and that's where if you need a professional camera on a rig and you want to fly the Protex 60 it doesn't look that intimidating I think and especially if you hit something like if it's a car let, let's not say it's a person but it's a car probably or you hit a tree or you hit something you're not supposed to hit you won't do as much damage as you as if you would crash with your x8 so that's a big advantage um let's let's talk about some facts flying here i'm already down to 3.6 volts cell voltage and I've been flying 2,500 milliamps. That's a 4,400 milliamp battery. So it really pulls the battery. The battery is kind of warm after every flight, even just cruising. Um, as I said before, the weight I'm flying here is representing my camera plus lens. So that's the full weight. I'll be using this quad to shoot in the future. I'm still 3.6 volt cruising. It drops to 3.5 if I hit the front a little bit. And I'm now at 3000 milliamp. My amp draw is about 60 amps. 60, I just raised the front a little bit to 80 amps. 60 to 80 amps. That's what pulls on the battery. I would recommend not to fly above 4000 milliamps. The battery capacity is 4400. But I'm usually fly onto six that would be four minutes I'm now at four minutes and I'm at three five that's for me the point where I come back I usually hit the angle mode to make sure I can land it as straight as possible just practicing for camera use and I was flying four minutes in a bit Next cool thing when you're done, XT90, easy to use, as I told you, you pull the battery out with one hand and push the new battery in. That's really convenient. Okay, that's it guys for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye bye.